All right, hi class. I'm sorry I can't be with you on Monday, but as promised, I'm going to create some videos on solving word problems using um, linear equations. So right here, we left off in class on Wednesday with the five steps of solving word problems. Skim read the problem, and when you skim read it, to ignore the details, um, meaning ignore the numbers. All you want to look at is to determine whether what, uh, what kind of a problem it is, and you want to get the right tool to solve these problems. Second step, to assign a variable to your unknown quantity. Step three is to now read the problem again, and this time you do want to pay attention to the numbers, and you're going to translate English to math. And when you translate English to math, you're going to be creating equations. And remember to use the variable from step two in your equation. Step four is um, solve the equation for your variable, and then step five is to answer the question, include units, and make sure that your answer makes sense. So that was a quick, um, quick run through of what we did on Wednesday. So here, I'm gonna go over um, problem number one on our word problem worksheet that you guys should have with you. Tammy is saving money to buy a, a game. So far, she's saved $36, which is three-fourths of the total cost of the game. How much does the game co cost? So these problems are gonna get harder and harder. Um, we're gonna start off with an easier one. And someone had asked, can we solve these problems um, not using linear equations? Can we use different methods? The answer is yes, technically you can, and you get to the same answer, which is great. But I want you to try these steps because as we get to harder problems, you have to need to know these steps. So I want you to try these steps even with uh, problems that you could do this using other methods. All right, so step one is we read this problem and we realize this is a direct translation problem, meaning there's no formula to it. All you need to do is translate it from English to math. So no formulas needed for this problem. Step two, assign a variable to your unknown quantity. So what do we not know here? How much does the game cost? So I'm gonna say let x equal to the cost of the game. So you need to know what your variable is in order to plug it into this equation. So here, I mean now, step three is carefully read the problem, translate English to math, and create equations along the way using the letter x through here. So Tammy is saving money to buy a game. So far she has saved $36, so 36 is how much she saves, which is, so the word is means equal. So when you translate English to math, is means equal, which is three-fourths, so three-quarters, that's a fraction, three-fourths of, the word of means multiplication in math. So three-fourths of, so I'm gonna put parentheses next to it because it's multiplied, which is three-fourths of the total cost of the game. And what do you know? The cost of the game, we said, was x. So the total cost of the game is my x. Okay, and it says multiplying. Okay. Just so you can see the difference between x and multiplying. So I'm gonna say x, okay? So now you created an equation with your unknown. That's the hardest part of the problem, translating English to math, step three. Okay, step four now is to solve the equation from your variable. So, and now I'm gonna ignore my word problem and I'll solve this. Um, we have fractions in this equation. So if you remember, what do we do when we have fractions? We get rid of it. So we get rid of it by multiplying by the lowest common denominator. The lowest common denominator is four. So I'm gonna um, zoom through this pretty quickly because um, this part um, hopefully is more review because you guys know how to solve equations at this point. I have 3 4 x, and I'm going to multiply it by 4. 4 over 1, right? So by doing so, 36 times 4 should give me 144. The 4 and the 4 here cancels out to become a 1, so here you have 3x, right? So now that you simplified it, now you're going to get rid of the 3, the coefficient, by dividing both sides by 3, so that the coefficient now becomes a 1, which is what we want. So as a result, we get x is equal to 144. Last step, answer the question, include units. So what is x? Good thing I wrote it here, x is the total cost of the game, so I need to put dollar sign right there. Okay. 